Hi, it's Morning Star. You guys haven't seen me in a while, so whether you watch this now or later, the energy is still the same. Uh, grandmother is coming in hot and they're like, you got to start going live again. So here I am. So whether no one watches this or it's just for me, that's fine. So setting protocols, archangels, tapping into God's first energy in the great I am, breathe. Ooh, yeah, feels good. Diving deep into middle mother guy earth. One more time, grounding into middle mother guy earth. Blue stars. One more time, grounding into middle mother guy earth. Breathe and tapping back up into God's source energy and the great I am. Time for the rain stick. <laughs> oh my god so i am blessed <laughs> okay so breathe how was 220 how was 2023 yeah it was uh it was a wave wasn't it it was wave after wave and it seemed like times that our hearts were broken and so this conversation is protected and we can talk about some stuff because we are clearing and making ready for the new witches today and for the year. So seeds, what are seeds? Seeds are the things that you plant Offer up to spirit, whether you are talking to God's first energy in the great I am, walking by a lake, you're in front of the ocean. Whatever it is. And you know what else seeds are? Because everything is energy. So I know lots of times in the social uh, mores and social norms, like you join a gym and you're ready to work out and you're really going to get in shape this year. And then what happens? A month later, you're like, eh, and you don't. But the question is, because everything is spiritual, did you not sow that seed? Yes, you did, because everything is energy. So they're taking, taking me back. I'm going to slow my conversation down. They're taking me back to South Carolina. So a book and getting ready to go um, to go do um, lives and do that whole thing, right? But it was like I checked into it, did the interview, and it was 10K to do it, to get my book out, my book, not my children's books, my book, to get it out and then to get into the platform, right, where I would start doing public engagements, right? TED Talks, that's what it was. So, but I was like, 10K, are you effing kidding me? I can't just pull 10K out of the air. You can't? Anyway, so, but what happened? I, and I took a, I took a hit on that one because I was like, man, here's this golden opportunity. Yes, 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 yes. But the bank account said no. But did it? Has it? Is it done? Was it just a seed that was placed in the spiritual realm? Because everything is energy. It's going to come back around. Maybe I wasn't ready yet. Maybe I wasn't ready yet. But it was a seed. So, breathe. 
So what other things in our lives can we, we've kicked ourselves over, we've beaten ourselves up over, whether it's cellulite on our legs, our tummies aren't flat enough, got wiggles in our arms. I know this is mostly for women, but you know what I mean? And it's kind of like we, we look in the mirror and we're like, man, you know, the wrinkles and all. But, 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 the seeds that are sown, we don't know when spirit's going to come back around and say, oh, okay, and then drop them in. Drop them in. There have been some fantastical things that have happened not only in my life, but in my family's life in the last month. In the last month. Do not negate. Do not beat yourself up. Do not shame on you. You should have done this. It could happen, blah, blah, blah. Stop it. Stop that. Stop it. You sowed seeds for the future. The future you that is stepping into a future, oh, there we go, future timeline that's coming back around again. And if it takes a while in our physical, we're like, man, what happened? Should have happened five years ago. I've been praying for this for 10 years, 100 years. Whatever, right? Here you go, one more time, and it comes back around. And then the you that is balanced, and now they've said to talk about the warriors. There are those of us that when we came into this realm, we have warrior spirits. We have things that has our, been our job, our placement as such, in this timeline, to shut or birth things, right? So what happens is, if you are not mature enough spiritually with wielding your sword, your body's gonna, your flesh, your body's gonna get, it's gonna be like this, instead of like this. So lots of times, I have noticed over my life, that I would speak words at someone. I would speak something to my family member and it hit them so hard. And I thought it was just off the cuff, right? Just like, and they were so wounded and so, you're like, ah, oh, assaulted by the words that I just, off the cuff. It was my gifting. It was yielding and wielding, sorry, I'm going to use the word wielding my sword, right? But. As the years have come by, as the onion layers have peeled off, whatever, whatever word all that you want to use in that, phrasing that you want to use as you get peeled back again and again and again, your worst enemy is not out there. Your worst enemy is the face that looks in the mirror back and reflects back. Your words are very important. Breathe. Are you speaking blessings over your life? Are you? Or are you cursing your life? How do we curse our life? We say things like, it ain't gonna happen. I'm not smart enough. I'm not pretty enough. I haven't lost this weight or I haven't done that. No. That's Carla Tiger right there. <laughs> the morning starts like, but have we? We, we? we curse ourselves in our negativity. We curse ourselves in playing that timeline. That person was so mean to me years ago. Oh my God, there they are. They're gonna be at a family function. That person sexually assaulted me. I have to look that person in the mirror. Blah, 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 blah. What is that? It's just the seeds of the ponds, of the scum, of the muck and the mire, and there's no life, there's no brevity, there's no resilience, there's nothing, it's just, it takes hold of you and it, and it just, and then what happens, it, it, it comes in and it attacks the mind, and it's like, God, you can't breathe, and it attacks the heart, and then even the energy of it's not good, is it, right? And the source, as we learn, and we develop, and we mature, here's our sword, right, instead of, battling those things that constantly attack us, whether we're laying on our bed at night, blah, 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 right? But then as, as, as we grow spiritually 
as we grow spiritually. What is the spirit? It's the fruits of the spirit. It's kindness. It's forgiveness. It's compassion. Grace. It's extending hands of grace to the people that have hurt you. Forgive them. If you don't forgive them, Spirit will draw a line in the sand. Today's the day. Today is a marking day. Are you going to step into what we have planned for you and forgive them? Forgive them. Or, and that is stepping into newness, stepping into something new that they have for you. It's just right there. Oh my God, if you could just reach out and grab it. Or is the thought process that's still not undeveloped it's still got that, that covering of negativity, that covering of the haze, right? That covering of just death is what it is. Death to your heart, death to your spirit, death to your dreams. And then what happens? And spin you out again, spin you down again. You're ready. There's an aspect of you that's ready. But if it's not in balance, you will be spun out again and again it, because it's your choices. It's your words. Your words have power. You can either speak life or you can speak death of yourself. <laughs> it's as easy as that. It's catching those emotions. It's catching those thought processes that you immediately just stop. And lots of times I will literally, things will come and I'll just, uh, sometimes it catches me off guard. And next thing you know, sorry, I've got to get a Kleenex. And it'll catch me off guard. And it's like, ah, and it's like, it's like, oh my God, ah. and then I have to like, I might, I might have to deal with it for a, 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 a couple hours or a, a day or a week. And it's just, it's disturbing my sleep. And I'm like, what the F is happening? And then I'll put on my meditation and I'll put on my meditation and I feed my heart. I feed my soul. I feed my spirit. So then this starts and goes away so then when the thought comes I can take my hand and brush it away the thought comes again to an attack and I can take my hand and then breathe 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 because I have I have I have done my homework I have schooled my spirit in this arena this arena this arena and they always do these hand things with me so what the sword and the heart and the spirit are alignment and then what you fly and you soar it's it's so simple that's because everything is energy breathe everything is energy and then what to catch the greater air the greater air streams right eagles they don't they don't mm -mm. they're not down here like hens and chickens and pecking on the bones and picking at this and, and ew, this person's got that new and, and Accusing this and accusing yourself and looking in the mirror and blah, blah, blah. No. Eagles fly. Eagles soar. They rise above. They catch the higher streams, the higher elevations, and they can have a broad view, a broad spectrum of everything that's going into their life. So here in 2024, what do you want to birth? What do you want to call forth? Call it forth, call it forth in your journal, call it forth in your words, stand in front of your mirror and profess over your life. This year, I want to make such and such and such. This year, I want to attain this, I want to attain this. I have three children's books that are in the back. I've got one, one's done, one's ready, one's, one's almost ready. It's gonna go on KDB, got two more lined up. But I, I want to make those happen. I want to see those developed, right? Birthed, birthed, one more time, birthed on KDP, live to go out to all the libraries, all the bookstores across the United States, right? 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 So whether you're an artist, whether you work in technology, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what it is. You can profess things over your life, you're sowing seeds for the future. It might not have happened in 2023 or the last 
61 years is how old I am. A 2024. Hmm. It's a new year. It's a promise of new beginnings. Breathe, allowing our hearts to hope, to take flight, to take flight, to take flight. There are some auspicious and wonderful things prepared for you this year. You have no idea. Your job, your homework is to work on this, to bring it into alignment, right? So you can soar. It's so simple. It's simple. That took, what, two seconds to say and to show? But the mechanics of it, the working out of it, it could take days, hours, minutes, months, six months, I don't know. But we're sowing seeds. We're sowing seeds. So I come on here today as Morning Star to say that I love you. This is it. Breathe. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Are you gonna believe? Are you gonna step over? When grandmother has me do that rain stick, what's two things are taking place? Carla is stepping aside. Morning star is coming in. is full of laughter and light and love and brilliance and wonderment and everything is great and wonderful. <laughs> Carla, at times, if she hasn't done her homework, is an effing mess. She's an effing mess. <laughs> she still doesn't have her shit together. Some days it catches her off guard. Thoughts, patterns come around again, come around again. Just a loose thought, a loose thought, and it comes in like an attack. It comes in like the fireworks that were going off last night. It sounded like World War III on the fireworks that were taking place here last night. I mean, my PTSD was firing off on all... Anyway, I digress. See? Some white energy just came in. So if Carla doesn't do her homework to do this and to do this and then to believe for children's books to be published, to just to just do it. And you know what? It's not even the materialistic things that we are working towards. No, no, <laughs> no. A seed sown. Breathe for comfort. A seed sown. Breathe for a peaceful day. <sighs> Breathe. A seed sown to see eyes afresh and anew like the eagle. It's like at times, as we are learning, it's almost like these, um, like film that's over our eyes. And it's like, as I noticed, I have noticed in looking in the mirror back when I was in my 20s, my actual eye color is so much brighter. And on certain days, it's just like glowing. Breathe. And so it's like, so the the uh, the onion peels, the layers as such, are coming off because why? The eyes, the the eyes are windows to the soul. The eyes really are the, the windows to our heart, to our spirit. So if we are in the yucky stuff, and it's like, man, you can look at your eyes that day, and man, it's just like sometimes you don't even want to look in the mirror that day. Why? You don't want to see what's, you don't want to see the truth. The truth that you haven't done your homework, which is why forgiving, sitting with the anger, sitting with the pain, cry it out, get up again, cry it out, take a walk, do it again. That's constant in my life. It's constant repetition of things that I know that keep me in balance 
from making my bed to doing chores to doing all of the things in my life to bring this, which is the sword of the spirit, and this, which is Carla matching her spirituality, matching Morning Star's energy, right? So they can come together and then they can work together. They can work together. That she can just breathe and step aside, right? So who knows the grand and glorious and wonderful things that Spirit has planned for each and every one of us. And if you had a really shitty year, 2023, then maybe, just maybe, this is your year. This is your year to see seeds in great, great ground. They've been fertilized, right? We have fertilized them with the tears of our heart, our spirit. Even the tears and the watering of the laughter and the joy and the things that are just on the horizon. Just on the horizon. I, I know this as truth. I know this personally as evidence, as seeing the actual actualization of seed sown and then becoming fruit. Good and bad, good and bad, good and bad. But I'm seeing more and more breathe and more of the seed sown deposits made six months ago a year ago, a couple of years ago, and they'll, it'll come around and it just popped into my life, my world, and I was like, are you kidding? When Source and Spirit decide to move, they move so fast, it'll spin your head. It'll literally take your breath away and spin your head. And the laughter and the joy because really, you were ready, you were ready, you were ready. And they, they went, pop, there we go, she's ready. It's all lined up, it's all lined up, pop, she's ready. So I hope you have a lot of pops. And that you're ready, breathe, to step into the greatness and the glory of your life, of your spirit, of what you, from the beginning of time, during this time frame of 2024, have been called to, to step into your authority, to step into the actualization of seeing the fruitfulness of years, of years, coming into full alignment, finally, finally, and then reaping the benefits of the grand buffet that has been set before you since the beginning of time. Did you pick some hard things when you signed up for this lifetime? Yeah, hell yeah. Apparently I picked PTSD. Apparently I said, okay, sure, I'll be sexually abused before the age of five. Sure, I'll go through all this crap. Sure, I'll have an abusive alcoholic father. Sure, 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 sure. Did it assault me? Yes, did it annihilate me? Yes, 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 yes. But now, at the age of 61, I don't have my age, I tell everybody I'm glad to be 61. I, I went through hell. <laughs> I'm having to get here now, to stand, to be before you now, to say in my authority <laughs> that on the other end is the seeds of blessing. As you heal, breathe, as you grow, and as you forgive, Forgive them. I know. It's hard as the Dickens. They don't deserve your forgiveness. They don't deserve anybody's forgiveness. But do yourself a favor. Because when you can't forgive them, you not only hold them in bondage, you hold yourself in bondage. And then at times, they are off scoot booting and they are living their life. And they might be bazillionaires. And they are just whatever. And you're still in that <sighs> so forgive them let the energy go write it out cry it out dance it out get rid of it breathe so you can be filled up 
from God Source Energy and the Great I Am. Thank you, Kuan Yin. Ota Ishishi and Mother Mary. Ota Ishishi. Ota Archangel Michael. Thank you. Merlin, thank you. Ota Ishishi. We have some higher galactic beings back here. Big Chief. Ota Ishishi. Ota Ete Ete. Abusho Kote Ata. U Ata. 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 Breathe. O Sho 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 They're showing me like this clay. That uh, it's almost like a foamy clay that is expanding and it's expanding and expanding. There's something going on here right now. Fine grain sand granules mixed with water create concrete foundation sand granules mixed with water water the river maybe I'm pulling it in the river that flows from on high <sighs> Doing a foundational work. Pink energies just went out. Oto ishiate atai. Receive it into your heart and spirit if you'd like. Purple energy. Aqua blue. Hote shishai atai. Purple, thank you. Ono ishiatai ashiata. You got some orange. Some bright yellow. Oh, there we go. The green. Ate ye. Ano ishia. Neon green, thank you. Oto ishiate atai. Shote ayato. No yoka. Yate asha. Stars. Explosions. Hayato shia dea. Polarity at the shika dea. Gotcha. Gotcha. Each one watching right now. Let them all receive this blessing right now, today. Anoto. 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 Prosperity angels. Oto shia dea. The angels of healing. Oto. Oto. Touching every aspect of their life. Every breathe aspect of our and your life. <sighs> Breathe. And we are complete. Thank you so much for watching. Share with your friends if you'd like. Woo! Okay, you're gonna start seeing me again. You're gonna start seeing me again more often, I promise. Okay, you know what, I love you. I love you, and I see you. I see you on Facebook. I see you. I've been growing. I've been doing things. Had some major life changes for the positive in the last month. <sighs> it's great. It's glorious. <laughs> Can I say it? <laughs> They're like, yeah. <laughs> what doesn't destroy me? What is it? What is it saying? Grandma, this is never mind. Okay, never mind. Be at peace. And so it is. Thank you. Uh -huh.